Uh, hi everyone. We have Karan from GitHub, so he will be talking about source at uh, GitHub. So he'll be talking most about open source ecosystem and how to get started with contributing. So hi Karan, welcome. You can start the presentation now. Great, thanks, uh, Vishal. Uh, thanks for the quick intro and uh, hello everyone. Um, and thanks for uh, tuning in. I'm not sure, um, you know, from which part of the country you're tuning in right now, but it's a, it's a pretty pleasant climate out here uh, in Bangalore and a lot of floods as well. So um, anyhow, so moving on, um, I'm going to be talking about the open source ecosystem and uh, uh, getting started uh, contributing to uh, open source. Uh, and uh, first of all, thanks to the FOSS United Foundation, uh, as well as the organizers for uh, for having me out here and uh, uh, for uh, having us support uh, the the hackathon uh, as well. So uh, a quick intro about me. Uh, you know, like how I mentioned, I manage uh, developer relations for GitHub in India. Uh, more of a cloud and DevOps guy uh, into open source as well. And uh, uh, when I'm not into developer relations and other things, I'm into books, acting, filmmaking, uh, etc. You can find me on at MV Karan everywhere, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, GitHub, uh, and uh, every other place. So uh, I'm I'm guessing that you know since many of you might be involved in open source software, uh, you might already be using GitHub or in some of the other means uh, by using some of the projects which are out there or by uh, you know contributing back over there as well. So to all of you, I want to say one thing. Uh, no matter what you're building, uh, you're part of the largest developer community in the world. And it's just getting bigger and more productive every year. Uh, so so a, a big kudos and an applause to all of you who are contributing back to the open source ecosystem, the community, as well as creating new projects, uh, because this is what is helping the next generation of software uh, and also a lot of people build their career as well. Uh, so one, one key thing that I really want to share uh, with all of you today is that open source is, is built by a global team of maintainers, developers, researchers, designers, writers, and more. And uh, on an average, each open source project on GitHub welcomed contributors from 41 different countries and regions last year. Uh, this is just on an average, and there have been projects uh, which have had multiple thousands of uh, contributors uh, as well. So what is happening is that open source is becoming an even more global uh, interaction and community as developer communities are growing across all the places. And we are also seeing contributions from places that we might have not even seen before, from, from places like Anguilla to even to even Antarctica, you know, uh, there have been contributions coming into open source and participation happening in open source. So it's it's becoming a really distributed, uh, collaborative means of building software, and and uh, this is this is really amazing. Uh, and also, like how I mentioned, uh, there, are, there are just millions and millions of developers who make up and this increasingly interconnected community uh, building the software that uh, you know the world relies on uh, and and if you look at it uh, nowhere we are able to see how better this interconnection is happening uh, better than in our repository dependencies uh, you know where a single package can support millions of projects uh, so to give you an idea of what the scale really looks like and how this interconnected community of developers are coming together uh, to build a lot of the software. Uh, I want to share a few numbers with you. Uh, and this is uh, from last year, uh, between the period of uh, October 2018 to September 2019. Uh, so if you look at it, uh, there have been more than 3.6 million plus repositories depend on each of the top 50 open source projects on an average. And these include like Rails, Chest, Axios, etc. cetera. Uh, and there have been around 203 package dependencies on an average that support every public and private repository uh, who have enabled a dependency graph. Uh, and open source projects have you know, an average of 180 package uh, dependencies, but this can vary from just a few packages to uh, more than 1,000 as well. 
and uh, uh, just just in last uh, last year during the period of october 2018 to uh, end of september 2019 there were more than 350000 people uh, uh, who made more than 5 million contributions to the top 1000 projects alone uh, you know just the top 1000 projects if you rank them by the number of stars uh, and there were more than a million first time contributors uh who joined the open source community last year and made their first ever contribution so uh so there are there are millions of people who are coming together to make these contributions to build uh, a lot of the software and you might be surprised uh that uh, it is not just developers who can participate in contributing back to open source or being a part of the open source community but it is people from all walks of life who are contributing and helping build open source software uh to to highlight this and to bring out a lot of these stories of uh many people who are doing this uh we recently uh launched the readme project which helps amplifies the voices of the open source community uh you know the maintainers the developers and the teams whose contributions are helping uh the world in various different ways uh, and these again like how i mentioned are not just maintainers and developers uh but people who are uh, you know even students public speakers uh, business owners 9 to 5ers 5 to 9ers photographers and they're all helping open source projects in very very different ways uh and helping it uh, uh grow so uh you if you are if you are you know really thinking about uh uh contributing back to open source and you still haven't probably started it yet uh you might be wondering uh why do people even contribute to open source uh you know apart from really helping out uh the software or the community uh, there are multiple reasons as well that uh people uh to contribute to open source uh and some of those are of course the first thing is to improve the software they rely on uh and also to improve their own existing skills because many of the projects that they are contributing to uh might require for them to be upskilled in order to help contribute uh and also it's a great place to meet people uh with uh, similar uh interests uh i have come across many people uh through many of the open source projects that uh i help with uh and also uh, it's a great opportunity to find mentors as well as teach uh, some of the others uh and one thing that everyone knows is it helps you with the public portfolio as well uh because all of your contributions uh can be seen uh, and visible available on github so uh, your portfolio is right over there which can help you grow your reputation and your career as well and over the course of time while participating in all of this you get to learn some really good people skills uh just interacting with people uh, understanding how code is built or just uh, communicating with the community itself uh so you might be thinking you know what what does it really mean to contribute uh, you might have various different questions in your mind that uh you know how do you find the right project or what if you don't know how to code what if something goes wrong etc uh you don't have to worry because uh and this is something which i mentioned previously as well you don't have to contribute only code there are multiple ways that you can contribute to open source software uh, and some of them like i mentioned previously is uh, say you want to help improve the project's usability through design you want to make some really good uh, user interfaces uh, or you just want to have some graphics uh you can even do so by writing documentation tutorials examples or translations etc this is again very important for a lot of the open source projects for especially when new contributors come in they want to understand how to get how to contribute what's the documentation like how to use it some examples to get started uh you can also be you know kind of like the orchestrator and helping manage the project itself uh there are there are uh, open source projects which have like thousands of issues that needs to be looked at prioritized organized triaged prs to be looked at etc uh you can also review others code and help them mentor uh and of course you know uh, you can contribute by means of code as well and this could be features uh tooling testing etc so i want to share you know a few uh, a few quick ways where uh, you can get started uh, and what you can uh, look for and how it can help you uh, the first one uh, of course is github.com/explore uh, 
Uh, so if you haven't seen that, yes, if you go to the Explore tab, uh, and if you have any start topics or start repositories, etc., uh, you will almost get like a feed on a daily basis uh, recommending certain repositories. Uh, and also, if there's anything else that's uh, relevant uh, to your interest. So this might be a good way uh, for you to just explore new things uh, and probably even look at what you can contribute to. Uh, one of the other things that's really interesting, uh, and like how I mentioned, uh, the way to contribute need not be just code. Uh, it could be multiple other ways as well. A perfect example that I can think of uh, is uh, codetriage.com, uh, where uh, you can help out open source projects, uh, you know, by helping triage issues. Uh, so if you just look at, uh, you know, the example on my screen, something like uh, a Flutter has... 4,500 plus issues that needs to be, you know, looked at and, you know, organized, categorized, triaged, etc. Uh, similarly with Kibana, you know, it has 4,000 plus issues, etc. Uh, so you can you can help, uh, you know, by triaging issues and making it easier uh, for developers as well as maintainers to move their project forward. Uh, there is also, uh, if you haven't seen, uh, open source start guide. Uh, where there is, uh, again, a list of multiple resources of how to contribute. There's even a really nice checklist uh, for those of you who are kind of like starting off uh, as to what are some of the things that you need to keep in mind uh, and also uh, what are, uh, you know, the expected flow that you can have once you start contributing, et cetera. So this would be a great resource for you to check out as well uh, on uh, opensource.guide. Uh, uh, and if you're really very overwhelmed and you know you're thinking how to get started uh, one of the things that most of you uh, uh, would have heard from people who are contributing to open source uh, or something that i at least like to tell everyone is to just get started uh, you know you just get started get get going with that one small first step that's required with your first contribution uh, and then things will become easier uh, for this, uh, I would recommend something like Open Source Friday, where uh, you can just probably make a commitment to start contributing every Fridays uh, and uh, also attending some of the Open Source Friday streams that we, as a part of uh, GitHub, stream on Twitch.tv while we are talking to a lot of the open source maintainers, etc. So one small step at a time would be really helpful. Uh, and uh, the last thing uh, that I want to uh, obviously share about is Hacktoberfest as well. Uh, I know, uh, you know, one of the developer advocates, Piyush, previously spoke about Hacktoberfest. Uh, and this is, again, you know, a great way because it gives you uh, a really nice motivation as well as an incentive to get uh, started contributing to uh, open source. Uh, so uh, I would definitely, you know, uh, encourage you to uh, participate in Hacktoberfest as well. Uh, uh, and I again want to emphasize that these are not just the only ways that you can contribute or these are not just the only resources that you have. Uh, there are there are multiple resources out there, guides, tutorials, and also videos, uh, and also great people uh, out here in uh, the mentors and the jury for uh, today's hackathon that you can reach out to to understand more. So uh, go ahead, explore, and then see. Uh, and like how I mentioned, there are many other ways to get uh, involved and start contributing back to open source as well. Uh, I've already given you an idea of the impact that you will be able to make, uh, you know, by contributing to open source, uh, because it's not just about the project that you're contributing to, but uh, you will also indirectly be creating an impact on those uh, thousands and uh, probably even millions of other projects that depend on those specific projects that you contribute to. Um, so uh, that's that's a brief idea that I wanted to give you about the impact that uh, you'll really be able to uh, make by contributing to open source and how you can get started. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, et cetera, uh, feel free to ping me. I'm on uh, at MV Karan uh, uh, everywhere. So uh, I'm going to be uh, around for uh, the rest of the hackathon as well. So in case you want to reach out, discuss anything or so, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, I'm available for any help that uh, you would require. Uh, so thanks again uh, for tuning in. And also thanks uh, to the organizers for 
uh, for having over here. Happy to help uh, and great to see all the work that Force United is doing. Thank you.